Hello guys and dolls. So welcome to my new apartment. We're finally like settled in and give me a little bit of feedback on this new background. Let me know if the audio is echoey, anything like that, leave a comment below. So this is the second time I have filmed this video. I'll give you a little brief insight into what happened the first time. It was extremely blurry. So yes, fingers crossed, this one goes according to plan. I wanted to just sit down with you guys and have a little chat about body confidence because it's something that I actually get asked about so much on all my social media and in comments since my eating disorder recovery videos and that's still going to be an ongoing series on this channel so this is the next healthy habits video and it is about how to be body confident and just my general tips on how I achieve body confidence and how I'm happy in myself. It seems to me like we're living in a day and age where it's really like cool and popular to be down on yourself and judging yourself and putting yourself down like on everything. Insert me and girls clip right here. Apparently there's a lot of things that can be wrong on your body. My hairline is so weird. My pores are huge. My nail beds suck. If you're doing that right now, please stop. Just no. We get one life and we get one body and there is no point in wasting all your time and energy wishing things were different, wanting to change it and then not doing anything to change it. My first tip on feeling your best in your body is to dress to suit your body and your shape. I myself am an apple shape. What that means is I kind of store the bulk of my weight in my tummy area, so just above my hips, and say if I gain more weight, I tend to get quite big arms and big old boobies and a big face. So yeah, that's my shape. There are several different shapes and the most common ones would be apple, pear, hourglass. You can Google these shapes if you want to see which one you are. And my go-to outfit used to be like a baggy jumper and jeans and I hated my body. I just hated it and I used to perpetuate that by constantly saying, oh, I'm so gross. Mm, don't think so. Ew. It's such a stupid thing to do and spend your time on. There's a lot more fun things to be doing than focusing on your outer shell rather than doing things to present it in its best way just being negative and looking at it like like it's a misshapen monster dragon baby and no when it comes to dressing to suit your shape i know this can be really difficult because we're living in an age as well of like online shopping and a lot of people who aren't confident in themselves don't like going clothes shopping they don't like trying clothes on and the whole process is very, gives them a lot of anxiety. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm slowly getting more into the world of apps. I used to be such a granny and technophobe with apps, but I'm actually really loving them right now. And one app that I've been introduced to recently that I've actually been loving and I've been using it so much. I find it really helpful for online shopping and finding clothes that fit me is Fitbay. It's not about being fit, it's about clothes that fit. So it's kind of like a social network kind of like the way Facebook and things like that, but it's different in that it pairs you with body doubles from all around the world. So you'll insert some stats, it'll pair you with people who are the same shape, height, weight, that kind of thing. And you can share what kind of clothes fit you, the brands, it will suggest brands and clothes that are in the shop right now that will fit you and look good on you. I'm telling you, it's just, it's revolutionized my whole style approach. Next tip on body confidence is to stop comparing yourself to other people. It is the most ludicrous thing that you could possibly do. When you look at a cat or a dog, do you think they walk around looking at other cats and dogs going, looking them up and down. I wish I could be the same color as that kitty. Why am I as fluffy as that kitty? We are all completely different. Every single thing about our genetic makeup and how we look is different. For every person that you see, that you walk by, there is another person who's gonna find that person extremely attractive. Everything about them, they're gonna be like, damn! Under no circumstances are you from now on to allow yourself to look at anyone else and think less of yourself because of how another person looks. Although people tend to judge people when they first meet them, our looks are such a small, tiny, minuscule, practically non-existent part of how people will feel about us. If you present yourself well, the best that you can, and let your personality shine, that is what people will be attracted to. And no matter what you look like, if you're blonde, if you're tall, if you're big, if you've got freckles, if you have braces, green eyes, blue eyes, black eyes, well, not black eyes, <laughs> don't let people be punching you. Somebody is gonna find you damn hot, I'm telling you now. So never, ever, 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 ever compare yourself to other people. You are the only you on this 
whole planet if you're sitting there wishing you could be more like someone else someone will be sitting there wishing they could be more like you and having role models is great you know looking to celebrities for inspiration is fantastic but never ever think less of your own body because of someone else's body or physical form if you find yourself doing this just ask your friends and family you know what do they like about you and this will reiterate that it will make you remember what makes you special and what makes you beautiful to other people write it down and just reread it and every day when you wake up look in the mirror my phone fantastic my dad i'm filming a video Yeah, every morning you wake up, look in the mirror, and no matter what, if you've got a big spot on your forehead, like I actually do right now, makeup, you're having a bloated day, no matter what, look in the mirror and say, yep, yeah, that's fine. That's what I'm working with, I can work with that. If you walk the walk and you tell yourself that you look good, you will look good. You will project off to both yourself and everyone around you that you are confident. And over time, this will build a habit in you and you will feel a lot more confident. On this tip, practice power poses. I'm gonna insert a TED Talks down below that you all should watch. It's on Netflix and I think it's on YouTube as well, but it's about how power poses can make you project confidence and feel a lot more confident as well. My next tip here is to just take compliments. Someone says something nice to you. Someone says, your hair looks beautiful today. Say, thank you. If one of your friends tells you that you've got a great figure, you know, nice boobs, nice bum. I love your tummy, I love your legs, I love your arms. Just thank them, don't be like, it's disgusting. They don't think that they wouldn't have wasted their time telling you they liked it or pointing it out as a nice thing if they thought it was hideous okay finally on how to feel more confident is pretty much everything that i talk about on this youtube channel where you can eat well and eat healthy foods do things to like move your body like add in like little exercises all the time you know yoga and things there's actually some brilliant yoga channels i've recently found on youtube and i'm starting to get really into yoga now so if you want to join on this journey with me just get some YouTube channels. There's Yoga with Adrienne, Namaste TV, Sarah Beth Yoga. There's so many fantastic channels and just do a couple of them every day. They're like five to 15 minutes long. It makes you feel more present and more aware of your body and go for walks, do jogs, do little weight exercises. No matter how bad you're feeling about your body, if you start doing things like this, you'll feel better because say if you're just slobbing on the couch, eating a pile of biscuits, you'll be sitting there going, oh, I feel so crap. I'm just gonna eat more biscuits now. That's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna accomplish anything. And it's okay to do that. Sometimes we all fall into funks. It's okay to fall into a bad funk and be all like, oh, especially at your time of the month. I suffer very badly from PMS and I think it's PMDD before the commencement of the Red Sea everything goes wrong and it's okay it's okay and just just l allow yourself to make mistakes on this road it's a journey but just do things like as Nike says just do it if you're feeling crap go for a walk do meditation journal your thoughts and pamper yourself I'm all about pampering myself I know I did a pamper routine before and I always talk about like different things I like to do a pampering so you know body moisturizing products and bath bombs and face masks and all that kind of stress relief stuff I find beauty and makeup and things a huge part of my stress relief and it also does make me feel like I'm presenting my best me to the world because when I do take the time to look after myself and you know do my hair and that kind of thing I just feel this wave of confidence I find that taking these steps over time just it builds this confident shell and we all deserve to have that and that's why I wanted to make this video to just talk about it and give you something that whenever you're feeling crap just that you can come back to and any questions you have about absolutely anything to do with confidence please write them down below and I will do my best to reply to everyone on this video hope you enjoyed this guys and if you did please give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and come and talk to me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook bye guys